I spent the last few hours analyzing Ulta Beauty. I really liked everything I was reading from the beginning of the presentation, the 10K, the 10Q forms, everything I liked until the end because of one number, I said, it's not the right time to invest in this company. I haven't had lunch yet. I said, let's make a video about it. It's something very important. First, you have to understand something about Ulta Beauty. It is in a very fragmented industry. There is no one big or two big players in this industry. But now it is getting concentrated between two main players, Sephora, which we analyzed before when we look at uh, goals, and now Ulta Beauty. These two companies have been growing at a fast rate. Sephora is owned by LVMH, but Ulta Beauty is its own independent company. So they have been opening stores for the US and recently partnered with Target so that they have their stores in Target. This is a good thing, partnering with Target. And also online sales, this is a good thing because there are less capital expenditures. For a retailer like Ulta Beauty, it is a retailer, yes. The amount of depreciation, the amount of expenditures it is making on its asset is very low, which I like a lot. But because it is in such a competitive, fragmented industry, they have to compete on prices. There are high-end products. I know fragrances made by your other products sold by LVMH, but this is not where Ulta Beauty is competing. They are competing with Amazon. They are competing with Sephora. This is not high-end beauty products. And of course, there are the hundreds of other companies because it is a fragmented industry. So they cannot really compete on prices here. They cannot raise prices. This is not their target. There is nothing wrong with that. But what happens is that if we have a recession, eventually it will happen. We don't know when. Margins are going to contract. And the margins of Ulta Beauty are around 8 to 10%. Recently, it went to even 12%. It makes a big difference if a company has margins of 10% and there is a drop of 2 percentage point compared to a company with 20% margins and a drop of 2 percentage point. For the company with 10% margins, if margins contract by 2 percentage point, it means 20% of the profits are gone. But a company with 20% margins and there is a 2% drop in margin, 2 percentage more drop in margins, it means only a 10% drop in earnings. In the case of Ulta Beauty, something also interesting to consider, important to consider, is that the net income is not very accurate because of inventories, the way they account for inventories, and for tax purposes, many retailers, they do this. There are different ways to account for inventories, loss in, first out, first in, first out. It matters in terms of taxes because you pay taxes based on your operating income. So if you look at the free cash flow of this company, Ulta Beauty, it is always a little lower compared to the net income. During normal business operations, the free cash flow margin is always lower than the net income margin. And this is the real earnings of the company, according to me. Of course, you have to remove stock-based compensation, which is not much. It has a great balance sheet, no debt at all, only leases. So everything I told you is good about the company. But now if I have to calculate the intrinsic value, I have to ask myself how certain I am that even if, let's say, we have a recession because I'm looking long term. I don't really care about consumer confidence in the next six months, what happens to the company, I don't care. But I have to consider that over the long term, 20% of the time, we are going to be in a recession. So what is my certain number on the margins? For me, it is about 8%. I cannot be more certain than that. I don't need to be more certain than that. But when I use an 8%, margin on the current revenues and of course i assume some graph it is only fairly valued according to me you can find the whole analysis on the super investors club and you will understand why i had to look at this company this way but that doesn't mean it is a bad company that doesn't mean i'm right because i know many of you like this company maybe you understand it better than me but for me when i'm looking at the alternative other investments i have in my portfolio other investments i'm considering and ulta beauty i would prefer these other investments maybe if the stock price dropped by a further 25 percent i'm going to definitely invest in the company it's a, it's a great company but and I'm not telling you that if a company has margins of 8%, this is a bad company. This is not the case. There are so many factors that you have to consider. A company can have margins of only 5%, but it is growing at 100% a year. 
which means maybe it's undervalued and I can invest in it. It doesn't mean anything that the company has low margins, but in the case of this company and at current price, I believe it is fairly valued and of course I will need a margin of safety before making an investment. Here's a company with margins of over 30%, which is actually making money from a liability. I will recommend you watch this video next. Have a nice day and goodbye. Thank <laughs> you.